I have a real love of a timeless wardrobe, and today we're diving into five classics that are currently trending for spring 2024. As you already know, fashion is cyclical, and while these items are trending all over the runway, they're ultimately timeless, making them excellent wardrobe essentials. Each piece I'm showing you can be dressed up or dressed down for a casual look. Chances are you already have these items in your closet, so you won't have to run out and buy anything new. Just keep watching for some fresh outfit inspiration. This might just be my opinion, but white skirts are the epitome of summer style. And with so many options out there to choose from, it's this flowy poplin medi skirt from Massimo Dutti that caught my eye. It's been nearly a decade since I last shopped there, and I have to admit that their spring collection is looking so chic, so I stopped by the Massimo Dutti store to check them out and see if the quality lives up to what I'm seeing online. I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised, and I even took my husband to the men's section and pointed out some things that might fill wardrobe gaps for him. Okay, back to white skirts. What I like about this Massimo Dutti one is the flattering medi length that provides versatility. This side slit makes it super comfortable to move around in. The 100% cotton is lightweight and breathable, and there's an elastic waistband that makes it very comfortable to pull over the hips. And best of all on this skirt, there are pockets up for either wearing a slip or nude underwear underneath as this kind of fabric is gonna show color or anything black under it. Styling a white skirt casually with a white t-shirt or a white tank is great for those warmer days. You can also opt for a pop of color like red, which is very in style right now, or you can keep it neutral or add a black accent for a bold contrast. For a dressed up look, incorporate embellishments like ballet flats, a tailored waistcoat, or a button-up shirt and a pair of feminine mules. As you can see, the white skirt is an incredibly versatile option for spring. I styled mine with tall leather tabby boots for those cooler spring days. To keep the look light and airy, I just paired it with an embroidered shirt from Cezanne. This is the Max shirt, by the way, and I'm gonna be showing you another style of this exact shirt later in this video. To add a touch of sophistication in the outfit, I grounded it with a tailored black blazer. For a pop of color, I accessorized with a dusty blue phone holder from Jill Sander and a beige bag from Maison Margiela in the 5AC style. This just adds a little bit of spring freshness to the outfit and it also adds a hint of color. From icy blue to red, color is everywhere for spring. Let's look at how to style all over color. Yellow is one of my favorites because it's so cheery and lighthearted, and to me it really says spring is finally here. I like to break up a full color look by accenting either with black or with neutral tones to bring dimension to the outfit. Silver is a really chic and unexpected pairing with yellow, and in fact with most colors it instantly makes an outfit feel fresh and modern. Consider using a single silver accent, such as a bag or a piece of jewelry or even a shoe in order to make a bold statement. For this look, I'm styling a buttery yellow skirt and shirt paired with rich chocolate brown accents to elevate my outfit, but still keep it on the smart casual side. The linen shirt is from Uniqlo's Spring Collection and it's perfect for this look. The soft yellow pairs beautifully with this yellow pleated skirt that I got from last season's Uniqlo C Collection. Since this skirt is now sold out, I did go online and I found a very similar one from Aritzia that I'm gonna be linking for you below. In fact, everything is gonna be linked and I will be linking my closet website in case you wanna see what I have for sale from my closet. For accessories, I opted for chocolate brown leather boots from La Mer. These ones have a beautiful square toe and a modest 55 millimeter heel, which makes them an incredibly comfortable boot. The ladylike bag is from Jill Sander and it's the small goji bag in brown. It's one of my favorite styles from Jill Sander and I just think it's so sophisticated and timeless. I would have loved to have paired this look with a yellow coat just to go for that overall color look. However, I don't have one in my wardrobe, so instead I'm gonna opt for this traditional trench coat. I love how it just takes those brown tones and pairs it with the yellow. It kind of acts as that bridge to bring everything together. Ballet flats continue to reign supreme on our shoe list this spring. Whether you prefer minimal leather flats or something bolder and embellished, 
This style adds instant femininity to any outfit. Whether styled with jeans, trousers, or a skirt, a classic ballet flat can instantly make any outfit appear chicer, giving it a more effortlessly elevated appearance. More fashion-forward options like studs, metallics, or even mesh like the ones from The Row or Alaya's fishnet flats are the perfect choice for people who love to make a statement with their footwear. Keep the rest of the outfit simple so the focal point is on the shoe. With how versatile and comfortable ballet flats are, you can bet that ballet flats will go with just about every outfit, even suits. For this look, I drew inspiration from these wide leg jeans with a wide cuff from Koss. I opted for a more casual chic outfit here, and I wanted to style something that could be worn on the weekend or out while running errands. The ankle grazing length of the jeans is perfect for showing off my tabby ballet pumps. Speaking of which, have you seen the new tabby ballet shoes? They seem to have these pleats on the sides and they have a higher vamp and I'm really intrigued. I'm wondering if I should sell these and maybe pick up the new tabbies. To continue the casual theme, I styled it with a grey cotton t-shirt from Cezanne and a tailored black blazer. To channel that effortless Parisian flair, I opted for this lambskin Le Mer croissant bag in the size small, and it just helps complete my look. Another spring must-have is the traditional button-up shirt. Whether it's white or blue, this piece is something that I think everybody should have in their wardrobe. With the rise of the row and quiet luxury trending around this time last year, the emphasis on going back to classics has never been stronger. I personally love the style options with a button-up shirt, and I do like to go oversized on my shirts because I feel like it gives it a more effortless vibe. Wear it open with a white tank underneath for a casual look, or pair it with trousers or a skirt for a more elevated casual outfit. Whether you're headed to the beach or going to the office, button-up shirt provides endless outfit options. This blue and white stripe one is from Cezanne's collaboration with Pangea. It's called the Max shirt and it features a really beautiful embroidered heart in the front of it. It almost gives those Comme de Garçon vibes. However, this one does feature a lot more color and I just think that it's so cute. It also happens to be the same shirt as the white embroidered one that I showed you in the first outfit. I wanted to achieve a business casual vibe, but with an edgy twist here. I paired the shirt with jeans from Uniqlo, and what I did to elevate the denim even more is ironed a crease into the jeans. Give this a try and let me know what you think. For the shoes, I went for my Maison Margiela tabby loafers. Instead of going for a coat for this look, I'm gonna opt for a black tailored blazer once more. To tie everything together, I opted for this cobalt blue vintage Chanel bag. It adds a really beautiful pop of color. It's very vibrant, spring and summery, and I just love this bag so much. From Corinne Reutfeld to Carolyn Bissett Kennedy, and even Rachel Green, pencil skirts have always been found in the closets of chic women. The possibilities of this style are endless and it all comes down to your personal style and where you're planning on wearing your pencil skirt to. Some solid workwear options are styling it with a crisp white shirt and a thin leather belt to draw attention to the waist. A leather maxi pencil skirt can be paired with a t-shirt and this also works fantastic when layered with a blazer over top. For a minimal and fail-proof option, an oversized turtleneck and pearls is always a good idea. Other options are leather moto jackets, ballet flats, and even just a simple t-shirt. This will keep your outfit looking very casual, chic, and effortless. The last memory of wearing a pencil skirt was in my late 20s when I was working in a corporate office. At the time, I was actually daydreaming about having a career in fashion. For a long time after that, it was just a piece that I would never touch until I started seeing pencil skirts for their versatility and comfort instead of just being confined to office wear. To style my own pencil skirt, I wanted to create a fun and edgy look that had a rebellious spirit at heart. This can be worn on a date night or to an event. The one that I'm wearing here happens to be from Muji. That means that it's very affordable. It's also very comfortable and versatile. I styled it with a crop top from the Korean brand Recto for an edgy twist. The black ankle boots are phenomenal and they have a Cuban style heel. Since I love to play with contrasting styles, I added a tailored coat over top. This just adds a little bit of warmth to the outfit in case it gets chilly at night. 
To bring balance to the outfit, I opted for a ladylike bag from Atelier de Lumen. This one is from W Concept and of course I will be leaving a discount code for you below if you're interested in checking it out. I love how this look blends two style personalities in such a harmonious fashion, edgy and classic, which kind of epitomizes my style to be honest. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more outfit inspiration. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for daily style updates as well. I'll see you in the next one.